Nice one, cool dudes. It is just gone eight o'clock on a Wednesday morning, and I'm about to start the Serpent Trail. What the hell is that? Well, it's a 65 mile route from Hazelmere, which is where I am now, all the way to Petersfield. It's in the shape of a snake. That pretty much explains it, right? I'm taking four days to do this, and my brother is gonna pick me up, and I'm gonna stay in B&Bs. I'll explain it as we go along. All right, good luck everyone, especially me. All right, let's go. How are you navigating this particular walk, Marek? A very good question, sunglasses, Marek. Well, I'm using Outdoor Active on my phone, as well as my Phoenix watch for a backup. So if, if you're using these apps, I would highly recommend bringing a power bank because they drain loads. I hear you've got a Whopper. Oh, thank you. Do you want to see it? Ooh. It is well marked out this route. I'm doing the tail part of it. And if you're going the other way, it's green. So are there um, snakes on this serpent trail then, mate? Yes, as a matter of fact, you can see snakes. The adder is about when it's warm, which is gonna be over the next few days, and possibly lizards as well. Try not to be scared, mate. Oh, I'm not scared, actually. Yes, my friends, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The arrival of the Tilly Hat for the new season. And it's pretty out of shape. You look like a bloody idiot, mate. Well, unlucky, because you're also me. What mushroom are these, please? Sometimes it tells you to go on the road when there's a path that's parallel, which is much nicer. So I'm choosing to do that. That was a good detour. I'm now back on route on the road and the path is winding its way up to the top of Blackdown. Yes, the Temple of the Winds, yes please. That is one of seven sculptures, or six sculptures, that are along the trail, which I'll try and see. Another bench with spectacular views, cool dudes. I'm gonna have to sit on it. It's so sad. Eric and Margaret got engaged here in December 2011 and she died in 2013, only 43. What? It's pretty sad that bench. When I die, I'd like to have a bench to be remembered by where all my friends could sit and look out at the views and maybe have a nice walk together to get there. And also I'd like a tree as well. Maybe a cedar. They're my favorite trees, I think. How would you like to be remembered, cool dudes? Why not write it in the comments below? I'd be very interested to read what memorials you would like if you like pine trees and good views, this is a spectacular start. The neighborhood watch area, I watch out for him with those sideburns. Look at him, absolute criminal. And that handbag's nicked. So far, cool dude, I would say the Serpent Way has the best signpost markings 
I have seen on any trail. I think they've recently been done. Well done, Serpent Trail. But I think it lacks some snake menace. So I would add to improve every 10 miles a snake monster, a five-headed snake monster, which would look like this. It would be a bit like that bit in Flash Gordon, the film where Peter Duncan puts his hand in one of the holes and in one of them he gets poisoned and killed. And this would have five mouths. One of them would snap and kill you. Are you sure about this, mate? Yes, it will be good. And now, viewer, you are facing the five-headed snake monster. Choose one of the mouths to put your hand in. Here are the results. If you chose one, two, four, or five, you're fine. If you chose three, you've been destroyed by the serpent trail. Unlucky. That is pretty good, actually. Some pretty flowers on this walk. But I'm always a bit paranoid about touching anything. After a day when I was working with my brother, and there was a really pretty flower, my brother told me not to go near it because it was wolfsbane, or monk's hood, I think it's called, which if you touch it and then put something in your mouth, you can basically die. So watch out for touching flowers that look like that. Lynchmere Common was once a Saxon settlement in the olden days, and there were Augustine monks here as well. I mean, they were pretty much everywhere before Henry VIII wiped them out, I think. That way? No, it's this way. Twelve point five eight miles in six hours thirty minutes. So less than two miles an hour. I'm making a film. That's why I'm going slow to get the content in. Stop having a go at me, all right? He's not even seen me. There it is. Pretty cool deer. They're cool dudes. Excellent point scoring for the Spotters Handbook. Available on CoolDudesWalkingClub.com and free with each membership. There's some proper rich people's houses around here. I wonder what they do for a living. Hmm, maybe they're walking vloggers, or maybe not. Liphook Golf Club, lovely kept greens. Well done, Liphook. You could eat your dinner off that. A golfer's ball it was right on the middle of the path before me. I was so tempted just to kick it, like in the bad old days. But no, I'm mature Marrick now. I am respectable Marrick, yes. You know, bumlick Marrick more like. That's the one thing I'd say if you're planning to do this walk. I'm about 14 miles in and there are no refreshments. So I've had two bottles of water with me. I've still got some left and a can of coffee. On a hot summer's day, make sure you take loads of water. Heading towards a place called Rake now, cool dudes. And the name Rake always reminds me of a rhyme I heard at school. My friend Billy had a 10 foot <coughs> He showed it to the girl next door. She thought it was a snake, so she hit it with a rake. Now it's only six foot four. Only six foot four. If you're planning to do this walk in four days, like me, there's a station near where my brother's picking me up. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it below on the map so you know which station it is and which town it is, so you can arrange a B&B &B there if you haven't got my brother to help you. According to the site, Rake Hanger's been covered in trees since 1600 AD, so pretty old forest actually, mate. Nearly finished for the day, about 18 miles. I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine. That's the meeting place there. Nice one, cool dudes. I actually got to the meeting point before my brother. What a miracle. It was an excellent first day of the walk, especially the first part. 18.14 miles, eight hours, 40 minutes, 
and 2.1 miles an hour. Pretty fast considering. Don't forget you can join the club with monthly payments on YouTube for as little as 99p or on the website calleddudeswalkingclub.com or both. Thank you to everyone who has, it really helps me out. Don't worry, my brother eventually did arrive and coming up now is the prize draw. Prize draw time, are you excited? Oh good, because I'm excited. There are currently 567 members from the website and 55 from YouTube, making a total of 622 members. Let's see who's gonna win today, shall we? Random number generator, generate. 490. Congratulations, cool dude 490, AKA Richard. The stuff will be in the post to you shortly. That's about it. Oh yeah. And remember, stay cool. All right, see you later.